Yo, today I thought I'd make a beginner tutorial for the people who haven't made a single beat in their whole life yet. So if you're quite advanced, then this video is probably not for you. So we're just gonna go over the process of making a beat step by step. And I hope you get some good value out of this. So let's hop into FL Studio and I'm gonna show you what the first steps are. All right, bro. So now we're in FL Studio. Um, if you haven't downloaded it yet, um, I would personally just get the demo version first if you haven't tried it out at all. You just need to go on this try for free tab right here on the imageline.com website and then you can just download the demo for free. And if you actually want to buy it, uh, there are like a few versions you can buy. Uh, all plugins edition, the signature edition. I personally have the producer edition and I would also recommend it to you. Uh, it's the like the best one in my opinion because uh, you have all the essentials and you don't need to like uh, like unnecessarily buy the signature or the all plugins edition because of course you get a few more plugins with it but i think that there's so much free content out there so you don't really need them so if you get it i would just get this producer like edition right here the fruity one doesn't have a lot of things so uh, i really would get this one and yeah, so now that we got that covered, uh, you're probably gonna start up FL Studio. Um, if there's like a project, uh, like the starter project there, it's like an R&B so song or something like that, uh, just go to file and then to new from template and then select same as above, but without the limiter. What that does, it basically just gives you a completely new project, completely empty. And we can now start to actually make the beat. So first, this right here is the playlist, so the arrangement part. Uh, you can basically like arrange your whole beat in here. So basically when you want the drums to hit, when you only want the melody to play, uh, when you want to have a crazy transition into the next beat like part, basically all the arrangement part and like the final structure of the beat. But in order for us to actually arrange a beat, we first need patterns. And as you can see here, pattern one, you can create more patterns right here. If you double click on the pattern right here, it's opening up like the sounds you can actually now use to create a full on pattern that you can later on use for the playlist. So in here, you can open the plugins by tapping on this like plus icon right here, or you can drag in sounds from like kits that you've downloaded from the internet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna like drag in these drum sounds that I want to use. So a clap, a hi-hat, and uh, just like a, a kick. You can also use these stock sounds for now, but they're not really good. So in my opinion, you should just like get a bunch of drum sounds for free on Reddit or uh, producer grind or cymatics are pretty good sites to like get free sounds so you can just look there and download a bunch of the like uh, kits in order to access them just go to options and then file settings and then just select the folder right here uh, where your actual drum sounds are or like other one shots or whatever and um, basically just select the folder and then you can access all your kits that you've downloaded if you move all the newly downloaded kits into this like file. All right, so now that we have some drum sounds in here, we can basically like start making a pattern in this channel rack right here. Firstly, you need to watch out. You have to go to this pattern icon right here because if you play it in a song uh, like part, then it's just playing in the playlist and in the arrangement. So it doesn't actually do anything in a pattern. So we just have to select the pattern right here and then uh, press this or double click on a pattern. And now we can actually click in some drums uh, on how we want them to sound. You can also turn on this metronome right here so you know what the bounce of the beat is. But other than that, we can just start out with the drums now. So we can just like create a cool little bounce. Something like that. Kicks a bit quiet. So this is the volume knob right here. We can turn it up a bit so it isn't that quiet so the pattern in the channel rack uh, since we selected the pattern thing up top here is just repeating over and over again you can extend this however long you want it to be but this is fine for now what we're gonna do now is just add the clap so usually where the clap is it's at this like second step so uh, right here yeah and now what we want to do we want the hi-hats to like go and the way we do that, we can either like click it in manually like this. Or we just right click on the sound and say fill each two steps or four steps. However, like you want the bounce to be like. All right. So that's a cool pattern. Uh, what we will do now, we want to actually like extend the pattern so it isn't like too short. 
Um, so the way we do that is we just right click on the sound and click on piano roll. So this opens up this right here, basically what the piano roll is. Uh, we will need that later for the melody. Um, you can basically just take a sound and like move up the pitch or move the pitch down of the sound. So this is an example. So the kick right here can either go up or down. In this case, we just want to copy over the pattern. The way we do that is we just press control on our keyboard and just left click and drag over all of our drum sounds. So just for the kick in this example, because we're in the kick um, piano roll. If this is not possible for you, you just have to like uh, take this tool right here, the like pencil thing. And then you just press control again, press on the three and drag it across to the one to the start. And now we can actually copy over the pattern by pressing Ctrl and B. We can extend this however long we want now. Ctrl, Ctrl, B. Uh, but this is unnecessary. Usually how you want your like patterns to be uh, like eight bars long. So you can just copy it over uh, as much as you wanted to. And now we want to do the same with all the other sounds. So press this icon here so the channel rack opens up. Then right click to the clap. Piano roll. Copy it again from the three to the one. Control B three times. So we go till the eighth bar and then the same with the hi-hat. But with this one, we can just right click and select fill each two steps. So it will just fill up till the eighth bar. So now we just double click on top and drag it to the left. So it starts at zero. And now we're done with the drums. Uh, it's a very simple pattern as you can see. We can open up the channel rack again and uh, quieten the hi-hats a bit because they're a bit too loud. But other than that, the drum pattern is finished and now we can actually uh, go to the melody. So we don't want the melody to be in the like drum pattern. So in the pattern one, we actually want to have it in another pattern. So the way we do that is go to the playlist first. So click this symbol right here and then press on the plus icon. We can even give it a name. We could say uh, melody. And now we have a new pattern that we can double click on. And as you can see, the drums are not in this pattern. So it's a completely new pattern and we can actually start off fresh with a melody. So now we can drag in sounds or open up VST. So virtual instruments, you could even like use hardware, but that's very expensive. And if you're a beginner, you probably don't have that. So uh, we're just going to go to this plus icon right here and open up a, a plugin, a VST. Uh, and we're going to select the FL keys. It's a simple piano that everyone has uh, stock when they like get FL Studio. So we're just going to use this one. Also, uh, plugins I recommend for the start are Flex or Citrus. These are very good, like banks where you can get a lot of good sounds from. If you're new to making beats, using these plugins is perfectly fine. You can make some very nice beats using these plugins. You don't need to like break the bank and immediately like buy Omnisphere and all these like big plugins. Just using this uh, is perfectly fine. And FL Keys is a nice piano plugin. So we're just going to use that. So this will open up. Uh, we're just going to take like the basic preset. As you can see, like at the presets, you can choose different ones. Dark piano, dance piano. We don't care about that. We're just going to take the like standard one and uh, press right click piano roll on FL keys. So now we're in the piano roll and we now can actually lay down a melody. But when it comes to making melodies, you have to watch out where you place your notes because some notes just don't go with each other and it's just gonna sound very bad. So I can show you an example real quick. If we press in a note somewhere in the piano roll uh, and we extend that, now we have like a note. We're just gonna drag it to B4 right here. And I'm also gonna drag in another note right here. So if I play this, it's going to sound bad, like watch real quick. So we have to watch out when making melodies that we place the right notes in the right scale. And FL Studio has quite a good tool for that. So we're just going to use that. Uh, go to this little triangle right here. Go to view, scale highlighting. Just choose any root note you want to have. And in our case, I'm just going to take B. And then select either minor harmonic if you want to get like a dark sound and Usually with all like trap stuff, it's very like dark. So I like most of the times use this one or take a major scale if you want to get like a happy sound. And if you're trying to go into that like direction, but 
For this case, we're just going to take minor harmonic. And now all the keys are basically like in white, as you can see right here. We can use these and they're all in scale and they will sound good with each other. So let's start off by extending this note right here uh, for two bars. And let's drag it down to this B3. So a very like dark piano, like a bass note. And then we're going to place another one right here. We're gonna shorten this one though. And now we can just go with the flow. Only place it on the white keys, of course. And yeah. That already sounds nice. Now we can select everything again. Press Control B again. So we copy over the whole pattern. And now we're gonna add some even shorter notes right here and create a cool little pattern. And then copy that over again a bunch of times. That's already a nice pattern. Um, of course, we could add some more variation, but I think for the first beat, this is perfectly fine. So let's extend it now by another four bars so it matches up with the drums. So just select everything and press Control B again. Now we have to pull eight bars with our pattern and we can actually go to the arrangement now to uh, arrange the beat and put the melody and the drums together. One more thing I forgot to mention, like the tempo of the whole project. And it's a very important thing. I don't know why I forgot it, uh, but it's this right here. So right now it's in 130 BPM. So that's beats per minute. So basically it's just about how fast or how slow your beat is. So if you're going for like a higher pace beat, then going for the like 160s and 70s is very good. And if you're trying to have like a slower beat, then 90 BPM is fine. But for this case, we're just going to take 155 and let's see how it sounds like. First, we're just going to drag in the melody. So left click the melody and drag it into the playlist so into the arrangement and pull it all the way to the left side. And now the same thing with the drums. Also pull it in to the left side. And now we have to switch from the pattern to the song mode. And after you press that, now we can basically play the full beat. And now we can see how everything sounds like together. Hey, that's the fire first beat, man. Of course, there are a lot of improvements to make, but I think making your first beat is so essential. So just like starting out, like making something is the best way to like improve. I can show you one more thing. Like, of course, there's a lot more to FL Studio. Um, but a very important thing as well is the mixer track. And you access that by just pressing this icon right here. So what that does, it opens up the mixer. So right here, you have like a bunch of channels uh, you can route your sounds to. The way you do that is by uh, like accessing the channel rack. And then right here, you can like select which insert you want to have in the mixer channel. So if I want the clap to be on the first one, then select the first, maybe the high at the second, the kick the third, and then FL keys at the fourth one. And what you can do in here, you can add a bunch of effects right here at the slots and you can quieten the sound, you can turn it up, you could stereoize the sound so it's like more spread out in your headphones. You can put it in mono so like the sound is very centered in your headphones. Basically things like these which are very important when it comes to like mainstream music and radio because small details play a huge role when it comes to music and music that people like like to listen to. So in here you can access a lot of magic. There are so many effects to choose from, but it's a bit overwhelming if you're just starting out. So I wouldn't like uh, dedicate too much time uh, to this right now. I would just like concentrate on creating cool patterns nice sounding drums and that's basically it. So if you want to look at more advanced tutorials, I can link some in the description of my video and you can look at them and I hope you could get some value out of this and I hope you made your first beat. Uh, if you haven't made it, then make sure to download FL Studio now and like hop into your first beat. Just make it, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, just try making them over and over again. And that's the way to improve. Like don't be a perfectionist, don't like try to sit there like trying to work on your first beat for five hours just sit there like just let it be fun make a first beat and uh, then you can just improve over and over again so you can subscribe to the channel if you want to and i'm gonna see you very soon bro so bye